there are many people who strive to become YouTubers, often stuck with just their iPad and or iPhone to do the work. And creating and publishing a thumbnail may seem to be a little bit more complicated, so here is the guide that you need to add nice thumbnails to your videos right from the comfort of your iPad. Let's begin. If you already have a picture that you want to publish, there are multiple ways of doing that, but the one I'd recommend is to simply download the YouTube Studio app. If this isn't obvious enough, it's been recently updated to bring dark mode, for example, but it makes it very easy to upload thumbnail at the first place. So just find the video you want, click on the edit icon, tap on edit thumbnail once again, and you just like all the time can pick from three randomly chosen screenshots of the video to use as a thumbnail. Would not recommend it to be honest because most of the time it just looks terrible. So instead click here to access your gallery and pick a photo or a picture you want to use as your thumbnail. We will get to how to properly create one in just a second. However, if you aren't able to find the option to add your own thumbnail, that's probably because your account hasn't been verified. This is a condition from Google that you just have to meet in order to use your own thumbnail. You don't need to reach any amount of subscribers or views for this. Simply verify your account with your phone number and you'll be good. This doesn't take long, but keep in mind that you can only verify up to two different accounts or channels with one phone number. Unfortunately, it's not possible to access this right from the studio app. You download it from the App Store. For this, you'll need to go to Safari and open up YouTube. If it redirects you to the YouTube app, just come back to Safari or your web browser of choice. Then access the desktop version of the site and go over to the studio. You'll see the settings icon somewhere on the left side, closer to the bottom. Click on it and under channel section and other features and legibility, you'll have the option to verify your channel using your phone number. You'll basically receive a text message with a code you need to type in there. By the way guys, if you are interested in this kind of content, I already made videos about screen recording, iOS, video editing and other similar topics. So make sure you won't miss the next uploads by subscribing to this channel. And also you can support this video with your thumbs up if you find it helpful. But what if you don't even have any picture created that you could use as a thumbnail? In that case, you can easily just snap a photo, edit it and use this as a thumbnail without any text and so on by uploading it to YouTube through the studio app. But a better idea would be to just create your own good looking thumbnail. For this, I'd recommend you a couple of apps. The first one would be the Canva app. If you really stuck with just your iOS device, this app doesn't require any serious design skills or anything like that. But if you can use Photoshop on the computer, then just use that instead. But don't download Photoshop onto your iPhone or iPad because it first of all takes a lot of space and it's not the same thing as on the desktop. And even though you have some functionality, I wouldn't really use it a lot on the mobile. But this app is just great even though it is required to sign up but you can use your Google or Facebook account even to sign up for it. And once you're inside, just scroll all the way to the right until you find the preset for YouTube thumbnail. It's nice that you have it because you don't need to know the thumbnail di dimensions and that it should be 1280 by 720 pixels and stuff like that or other technical stuff. Pick your style and just slap some photos and text on it depending on the actual layout of the preset and the type of video that you are actually making the thumbnail for. Believe it or not, this is a powerful photo editor and you can move things around and do a whole bunch of stuff. But, and that's a huge but, it is paid. I am not affiliated with them in any way, but this app just works great. That's why they can afford to ask money for it, I guess. So in case you don't really want to pay about two euros or dollars for every thumbnail that you create or pay a monthly subscription, which I don't really think that starting YouTubers actually want to do, you should most definitely try out some of the other alternatives. Those apps, which by the way can all be found in the description of this video, are going to be full of ads. 
like if they are free that just makes sense that they're gonna put a lot of advertisement on it just to make money off of the app but uh, those apps uh, still work decently it's definitely worth trying out at least but uh, there are again some prepared layouts that you can use or just create your own thumbnail from the scratch from the blank page which is gonna be a little bit more difficult but yeah at least you have the option to do so and then when you're done just like all the time just export the picture and then bring it all the way to the youtube studio app and then upload it from the camera roll but that's gonna be easy Probably the most difficult part is to create a nice and enticing thumbnail for the video that's going to grab attention and make people click on it. So make sure to try out these apps and I'm not sure about the resolution you'll get all of them, but at least you have something that looks decent and has some graphic design elements in it in order to make the thumbnail look more professional. Mm -hmm. But either way, I hope that this video helped you and hopefully now you'll be able to make and create some nice thumbnails for your videos. In case you found this video helpful, just like all the time, I can only ask you to like this video just to help it and make it go up in YouTube algorithm. And in order to help you and the channel as well, you can subscribe so you don't miss the next uploads, the next videos where I will talk about other apple related things and topics so i think that you should actually do it so thanks a lot for watching and your support see you guys later in the next video